pretty excited because a miracle happened. Um, I, I just have to show you. They're both asleep at the same time. So, I'm gonna get some stuff done. All right, so now that the kids are asleep, let me just show you the state of my house and then we'll see how much I can get done during this nap time. And meanwhile, because they're sleeping in the loft and not the bedroom downstairs, I have to be super quiet. Um, you could probably hear it. There's a really loud noise machine upstairs, a white noise machine, so hopefully that keeps them asleep. So. I'm going to be banging around on the dishes and maybe clean up all these toys and then if they wake up then I'll vacuum but um, who knows, we'll see. Super embarrassing but I was super tired last night after dinner that I was like screw it I'm not doing the dishes tonight. So I have a really small sink so that looks like it's more than it really is <sighs> but it's still pretty bad. And then, um, this is Nolan's toy room. Yeah. It used to be our bedroom, but, um, we switched it to the toy room, uh, mainly because we were really cold in this room when our mini split, um, went out, um, one of the circuit board blew up or something I don't know but we had to order a new part and luckily it was under warranty um, so we had to wait for the part to come and meanwhile it was 20 degrees outside so we were freezing in this room so we moved our beds upstairs in the loft where it was significantly warmer and we had our space heaters on and we were fine but it was really cold in this room so we moved all the toys down here until we can get our mini splits fixed now it's 70 something outside so now we have the air conditioning on so i'm, I'm happy we're not hot <laughs> um anyways let's get to it These are all clean and just drying off and they're still asleep. So onto the toys. And the babies are awake. Good morning, babies. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. You waking up? He's awake. Yeah? I want more gummy. You want a gummy? Yeah. Wow, it's a lot quieter in here without that white noise, huh? Mm. <laughs> you ready to wake up? Are you hungry, Nolan? <laughs> What's that face you're making? <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah? Should we have some lunch? Yeah? You want some lunch? I bet you do. You guys <laughs> done with lunch? Are you done with your lunch? Yeah. Huh? I'm done too. Woohoo! Should we go outside and play? Yeah. Wee hee! <laughs> Hi! Wow, 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 wow. Who is it? It's Daddy! It's Daddy?
took his shoes off. Hi, Dad. It's because you took your shoes off. Uh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How was work, Dad? It's good. It's it's Friday. Friday. Yeah. It's Friday. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> I need to get it. Almost. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Look at you. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. What do you think? <laughs> the little uh Next summer. Clap. Woo, clap just here. So I wanted to show everybody what happened with our mini split and then also since we got a new tankless water heater I wanted you to just show us Surely. kind of how you did it. <coughs> um, <clears throat> so there's a main control board, a circuit board in here that uh, the two blowers that we have communicate to. So we've got one blower in the room and then another in that main area in the house. <coughs> and they both communicate with the main circuit board in there. Well, we got a communication error code on the blower. And uh, I looked it up and came out here, took the top off and saw that it was, the circuitry was smoked out a little. So luckily it's still under warranty because we bought it, you know, this, this year so. Um, Platinum Homes, once I emailed them, they expedited a new main control board, and uh, I went ahead and put it in when it showed up, and everything's good now. Awesome. So this is what I replaced, this main control board, you can see it just kind of smoked out right there for some reason. Scary. It's underneath this big heat sink, so something got really hot. Anyways, that's what they shipped to us for free because it's under warranty. I'm sure it's not cheap. Wow. Awesome. All right. So, show right, so them uh, a new water heater. So, this is our propane fueled tankless water heater. Um, this house came with an electric water heater that was underneath our stairs, but it was only a 19 gallon tank, so it was good for maybe one shower. So, we took that out. I rerouted the water, you can kind of see on this side where it comes into the house. I added a outdoor spigot there, faucet, whatever you call it, and then ran it underneath the house to a three-stage filter setup that's in our kitchen next to our fridge. So from there, the water comes back down this way to the tankless water heater, and then to the house. So We have filtered? We got, yeah, filtered, unlimited hot water so as long we'll as we have propane <laughs> yeah we'll go through uh probably two propane tanks the five gallon tanks a month so not not too bad at all nice so one step closer to being off grid one step closer to the edge and i'm about to break <laughs> okay <laughs> i know you can edit that one out <laughs> maybe i won't <laughs> Um, yeah, our next step would be our solar panels. Yep, we're going that, that roof there. Um, I've got two of them already. I'm hoping to put six, six total up there. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. <clears throat> so, that's, that's it. That's that. That's where we're at. Yeah. Hey, guys. So, I wasn't able to finish up filming earlier. Uh, because we got busy making dinner and with the kids, but now that everyone is asleep I'm able to uh, say thank you guys for watching and 
Um, if you saw something in this video that you had a question about, or even if you feel like you could pass on some wisdom, maybe some tips, um, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, we super appreciate all of those and we love to read them. Um, and then also give us this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Um, we would love that as well. And then you can also go to our Facebook page, which is Living Tiny with Summer and McKay. And um, I post a little bit more often on the Facebook page, just like regular pictures of day-to-day -day life and what we're going through. And uh, I hope to see you there and see you next time.